Hey guys, it's Ryan with Fluid Health and today I'm asking a basic question. Do you guys suffer with sway back posture? This hyperextended overarched lumbar spine. Sway back posture normally comes with tension and discomfort in the front of the hips and the lower back. You're going to see it with the forward head tilt and forward shoulder posture. We also see distended abdominals. If left untreated, sway back can lead to all sorts of pain and dysfunction throughout the body. And that's why today we want to take you through a quick screen to show you how to assess whether or not you have this particular postural imbalance. Let's get right to it. So this is a basic wall W uh, drill. This is really just trying to st stack up our center of gravity. Remember guys that your ankle bone, the middle of your hip, right around the, what's called the greater trochanter, it's the little elbow of your femur, the vertebral bodies of your lumbar, this little bony cropping here called the acromial clavicular joint or AC joint, and then the, the ear canal should all stack up. Now again, if we have a hyperextended lumbar, it normally means that our lumbar arch is excessive and our hips are swayed away. So the downward force of our hip flexors pulls our hips down and draws our weight forward into a sway orientation. So our center mass is forward of our plumb line. So what we can do is we can stack our legs up against the wall and it basically lines us up on a, on a straight vertical. And so what we're looking for is can our heels touch, our butt touch, our head touch, our shoulders touch, and can I slide my hand between the lower part of my lumbar or my spine and can I keep it within about a finger's width away from the wall. Now if I can't, and I find that my hips are tipped down or I have to buckle my knees to do it, it's a good indicator that you have the muscle imbalances associated with sway back posture. Another thing is if I draw my arms up into a shoulder W, and then the stretch tension of my pecs and my lats start to kick in and my back comes off the wall like this, again that's another indicator that some of this upper cross imbalance between the tight and short and pec flexors or shoulder flexors are overwhelming our neck extensors and our traps. And that's also associated with the sway orientation. So again, a couple quick indicators. If you can't draw your arms back to the wall without your back hyperextending from a horizontal 90, if you can't keep your heels and butt and shoulders and head on the wall without the lower back coming off, that's a good sign that there might be some imbalances around the pelvis that leads to that sway orientation. And again, if I draw my arms up overhead and you see a pronounced hyperextension, well, we also know that that's going to indicate that you might have sway back posture. So remember, it's all about keeping your joint structures on top of your base of support or your feet, and that's what we're looking for. Questions on it, admin at fluidhealthandfitness.com. In our next post, we're going to show you how to fix sway back posture. Hint, hint, it starts with your deep inner musculature. It's called your active control subsystem. We're going to show you how to engage it. If you did test positive for sway back posture today, make sure to let us know in the comments. We'll get back with you with some suggestions. Remember your body's designed to move, stay in motion. We'll see you next time.